Who's there? Check this out. I think it's the boiler. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. Wait here. Mitch's masterpiece. We all love and support you. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour? 30 minutes? I guess we'd better move. Focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I have a little brother, short, scarred face. See, he, he's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. There's no way we can get in there without her seeing us. Without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother. And run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Get Violet first. She needs to know you're here. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Louis, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Violet. Violet. What the fuck, oh. Minnie? Clem! Get in the cell. Are now. you fucking serious? I'm killing you. Don't touch me. Minnie, you don't know.
Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Violet, talk to me. We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. No, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed if you fuck this up worse. I'll stop you myself. And don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again or anyone else. We can't give up now. If they take us back to their community, we'll all die. So what? Your plan is to speed up the process? Whatever you do, leave me out of it. Staying here that long. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here. <sighs> Thank God. Is Vi all right? She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? Ugh. We're not moving yet, so at least we've got some time. I guess. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... They must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. you doing don't I promise you it ain't worth it step back she awake yes ma'am good I'll take it from here Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! That was my call. I killed him myself. Back up. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. 
First you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential. You should have never attacked us, Lily. Your mission was a bad idea from the start, and you failed. And you're still mouthing off, despite being in a cell. That'll change. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the Parable of the Twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting or they'd lose everything they built, their crops, their power, even their lives. Putting guns in their hands and forcing them to fight? How generous. They were just doing what they needed to survive. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Shit, Could Minnie! You? What the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one? You, you brainwashed her! You people are fucking sick! Y'all better back away from the door. I'll be the one who breaks out at night and cuts your throat while you sleep. Kind of what I expected you to say. But you'll see, I'm not kidding around. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo. You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy! Stay still! No, 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 please! Come! Don't 
Make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. Just breathe. That's enough. He bit me! I said that's enough! You deserve to die. We'll kill you! You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river, and we'll put a knife right to the side of your head! Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin, and I was justified. Dang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clementine! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't you dare look at me like that! This is the only way we survive. Are you serious right now? After everything that she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! Minerva! Fuck off! What the hell happened to you? You killed Sophie! What the fuck? You just decided, hey, I'll work with these people. They the seem fuck friendly are you enough. Doing? Don't you're act gonna like get you us understand what happened. <laughs> Fuck you! <coughs> what the hell are you doing? <coughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. Violet, we have to go. No! We planted a bomb on the boat. Fuck you, there's a bomb. Mitch is dead. You just... just fucking go. We have to get the hell out of here now! Go! I need to find AJ. I... I can... Uh, I'll be fine. Better see you on land. You will. Focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around, too, once you see what we have to offer. Found one more sneaking Plenty over food, the docks. comfortable beds for you and Clem. Tin! Fuck. Tennessee. Did you get lost? 
Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Found this in the herd. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? You force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <coughs> Kill it. No! Fuck! Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him! Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or... or else. Fine. Go ahead, then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier, either. Please, don't! No! Threat. Lower the gun. You weren't down there. You didn't see what she did. She tried to cut us all up. <laughs> you don't have to do this, please! It's a trick! Don't you fucking dare, AJ! Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. I don't want to die! Lower the gun, AJ. Okay. Shit, the bomb! AJ! 